In this series, I will be transforming old builds and upgrading them to a whole new level. So let's just get straight into this so as you can see this is probably one of the most recreated tutorials on the theme park tycoon 2 it is just the standard entrance we have seen it stands of times on different maybe parks maybe you've even seen it in game maybe you've even built it yourself but this is just a lot outdated it's built without any game passes so this entrance if you just have a look at it it actually isn't that bad it has a lot of different colors a lot of different shapes but it is just a bit weird it has maybe some letters and we are of course going to keep the same sort of layout and color schemes but we are just going to detail it and just make it just more of a grand entrance so let's get building so first of all i am going to be moving it probably just around here just so i have the, the reference behind it okay so it mainly is green but i do kind of like the, the gray button so i'm probably going to just keep that but we will be doing that with primitives something like that seems to be fine and then i guess i kind of want to have also the green layer there let's put it on 0.025 five and uh, let's move that then a bit in what i also actually can do of course got also new textures so i think maybe this will look way better than me of course i'm going to make maybe a bit lighter just a lot lighter something like that it still has the same vibe but yeah these new textures already look so much better than the old ones and i'm just going to be putting that right on top of here for, for now i guess i will just also keep to this to this color that seems to be fine now i am planning to make this a lot higher as you can see this is like already as almost twice as high as the roof right there so that's a bit better it's just a bit more grand i like that and now we have to copy this over to the other side so let's do that real quick and i am probably going to make this a bit smaller something like that maybe like a two i think we also have that there and i guess i kind of want to make these maybe even higher maybe this I think that's also kind of there. It's just one block higher. So I guess we're going to keep a little bit like that. But as you can see, that already is a bit bigger. So I'm first just going to build the whole shell. And then I guess we're going to add like all the small details, the windows and stuff. So let's first add like the, the two roofs that we have for this build. And then yeah, I'm probably going for like this sort of color of the roof. Maybe even a bit darker. Okay, I think we now have drawn the main parts of the build. I think we can now start to go detailing. So let's just start on the left tower. Uh, we need first some poles on the sides as we have right here and i have to say these quints are yeah probably the best for it but i am going to be moving them a bit inwards all right and then we of course also have to place these all the way up to yeah where the roof is going to be and the last one there we go now we have these like quints on the outside and as you can see it still looks a bit the same but it already actually i think i like it already a bit more it's just a bit bigger and already like the smaller details are just already a bit more there all right and then we are also also going to add these poles here in the middle uh, but i am going to change these poles a bit because these are just normal poles and i can maybe do something like that i guess yeah this actually also can work um this is a bit annoying but i do think this looks already like a bit more detailed than just these straight poles there we go it is looking kind of nice and yeah and then i guess we are going to have to design our own windows because to be honest these windows just don't look that good so let's add something like that i think something like that should be fine for a window i perfectly sized it to like this pole here so that kind of looks nice and then we of course also going to be adding this right here and then inside here of course you want some other things so that there there we go and that probably needs to be like some sort of white plastic and maybe i'm going to change this to wooden yeah that does look better so let's get that no snapping put that a bit more in something like that and of course i kind of want to have that maybe like the other wood texture yeah that looks nice and put two more of those right there and then we've got some sort of like the same ish window and now we have to probably copy that over a lot of time so i will be be right back a few moments later all right well there we go i've added the lower windows as you can see right here they look maybe a bit empty right now but i'm we are definitely going to add a little bit more detail to that later so then we got this yeah sort of like gate piece up there and i guess i'm just going to sort of copy that over and put it also here and i guess then i can just all copy this also over the roof and let's also do then of course on the other side and there we go and then we can i guess see to this small plot here because this looks now a bit empty what i'm actually going to be doing is maybe make this some sort of limestone something like that and then i am definitely going to make the top one definitely like a lot lighter maybe that's a bit much something like that seems to be fine and then i am going to be adding some sort of like rock texture to it i can always of course adjust them i want to make this maybe a bit thicker there you go what i also 
might can actually do. I don't know if it's going to work. I'm not 100% sure. I'm going to try something else that I might think work. How does that look? Mm, ooh, actually, I think I kind of like that. It like gives this a bit more like support on the bottom. All right, so above the facade, we have some weird letters. I'm not the biggest fan of those letters. So I'm probably first going to skip that and work on this quite painful looking round window, which is definitely going to be a lot of fun to make. Okay, there we go. And now we have to add like some sort of arch to it, which is always uh, a lot of pain to make. But let's just see what we can do. Okay, I think so. Something, an arch like that actually yeah it's pretty good it's a bit bigger but i kind of do like it only part about this is that it's quite painful to copy over so yeah that's great and the same with the window i have to yeah change this also a bit so it's like more inwards probably i think this looks yeah good enough now we have to copy that over a lot of times again i will be be right back Alright, and there we go, the last window on that building. I have to say, I kind of like those windows. They're like 10 times better than just these standard windows. They te also take 10 times more time. But yeah, it's definitely worth it. Okay, let's continue with the roofs. Uh, these roofs here are just very ugly. They don't look good. So we are going to probably make them fully custom. So I am definitely going to delete all of this because it just looks very weird. Okay, let's get some primitives. And then rotate that to the other side. Then we go to this, paste it there, rotate it again. Uh, this, so that's this. I probably have to do it with just the grid because otherwise it doesn't really fit in. And I will have to do this a lot of times and then four more times. I am already having regrets of doing it like this. Um, I do think this will look very cool. So uh, yeah, let's do this. There we go. That's the first roof. And that actually looks pretty nice. Now let's do that three more times. Three days later. All right, there we go go that's the first part of the roof that took me like almost 20 minutes so <sighs> that was great um now we got to add like the metal yeah piece that's up yeah right here so let's see how we're going to do that more this that seems to be fine now we're going to make it a bit thicker and lower and that's going to be the yeah the bottom of it so that seems to be fine and then we will have to make our own nice looking fence and i kind of still want to add sort of the same ish vibe as the fence but of course it wants more detail so let's use no snapping make that definitely a bit thinner there we go and uh, by the looks of things it's just like a lot of those stray pieces i'm just going to add that here too there we go that's our nice looking fence i'm looking at i might not actually like this what i might do just get like a lighter color for this metal and put that on here and then do that same with the bottom one so change it to that oh yes that looks good i like that that's so much better all right now the next problem are these other three roofs that we have and i am not looking forward to those so what i'm doing is just sort of the same as here just use these as like the base of it and then we're going to put a, a lot of wooden panels on top of this i am probably going to regret again so let's get this wooden shape let's get sort of the same angle that seems to be fine i am first going to put them like like this and then i'm going to size them all down rotate them a little bit random and i have to do it for like eight times and god why why do i make roofs like this now, now at this point i really wish we had to copy and paste too it would have just taken like one side and i could just copy and paste it like eight times also i have no idea if this is actually going to look good it, it might actually be possible that this is going to look horrendous there we go and then i am probably also going to just slightly rotate some of them not all of them um i have no idea how that's going to look there we go and then i kind of just want to use the same color as some of these in between here also the lighter one that actually doesn't look too bad i, ca I kind of like that i don't like the fact that i will have to do it now a lot of times but i will be back in probably like another 30 minutes all right that are those two roofs done and i actually have to say i kind of like those so yeah, i'm just planning to sort of do the same with this yeah roof but then just have like as this one have just a small straight piece in between here we go again and i hope i think this correctly but if i'm sure i should be able to just copy this one for the most over apart from of course the middle point but that should actually work all right there we go this is actually starting to look pretty nice if you look at the old one the roofs 
I just kinda hate how these look, they're of course just very flat and metal, I'm not really sure why they're metal, but I just really like the vibe of this one and was it worth all the time, I've almost spent now an hour making only like 5 roofs, probably not, but they do look cool. And then the next thing we will have to do is add sort of these ticket booths at the front because they are now non-existing and we of course want people to be able to buy tickets. There we go. Um, yeah, now right now it looks kind of bland so I am going to probably add some sort of fake window thing of it. I don't really know. And that is normally where you can buy your tickets. Now let's copy that over three times actually. And now we also want actually um, get a sort of like sun thing. This one above there. I do kind of like that. I do hate the colors that this one has. Okay, copy this over uh, around three times of course. There we go. And now people that are standing right here are protected from the sun. Now I think we have one thing left to do. Or well, one main thing of course is the path. So I am probably just going to use the normal path because no really need of making some fancy path. Okay, so up here I am probably just going to add one big sign saying welcome and the thing is it has like a lot of these sort of letters on the side and and what i've also not done is adding all these fences around the yeah building i just don't really like that i do like the roof being more open just maybe what i like maybe you like these the like things around the roof all right so but now we've got one final thing to actually add is actually yeah this the the where you go through uh what you have to say uh on the original i kind of do like so I am probably just mainly going to sort of do the same but just make it look better And I am actually probably going to just really easily copy all of these over And also do it actually on the other way And I don't think I want to add too much like stuff in there um, What I am probably going to add is like all of these Because these actually if I'm right they just fit into Yeah that's perfect that's And then fence wise I might actually just do something like this and then just i am not 100 percent sure what i might actually just do which for some reason i kind of like is just to keep it open uh, i don't like very cramped entrances especially the one of the tutorial is just it's it's so small and i do love that it's just kind of open so let's get some i guess some lantern there we go and then probably also one on the other side and the same with this one and then i know i can add way more detail but is there really a point of even adding more just looking at the old one which kind of cubic doesn't look the best of course it's definitely not bad for a entrance where you don't need any game passes but as you can see with just upgrading a little bit adding a new roof adding custom windows adding some more detail down below and some stuff like this just really makes it look so much better and i'm sure um you can add way more data these walls so maybe a bit open and add even more windows but at this point i've been working on this build already over two hours um and this is probably going to be just deleted after this video so i don't really see the point of adding even more windows that's the end of the video i hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you did please leave a like and subscribe on my channel i don't know if you want to build this entrance if you do good luck it's not the easiest it does look cool especially if you have of course game passes the roof is probably the most painful thing to do maybe i make a tutorial once when we maybe have a copy and paste too and everything is just a bit easier and faster to do so guys i want to thank you for watching and i will say as always goodbye